Why hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. I am a new YouTuber. I'm finally getting on making some videos. So that's really exciting. I kept saying that I was like gonna get on and make some videos and I really want to. It's just, you know, time gets away from you. So here we are, a little get to know me, new YouTuber edition. Let's get it, let's just jump right into it. Full name, age, where do you go to school and what do you study? So my full name is Peyton Michelle Taylor. I am 20 years old. I will be 21 October 5th. And then where do I go to school? So I go to school at NC State University. I am a senior right now. I graduate in December. I study business administration with a concentration in entrepreneurship and a minor in sports science. So it's been a lot of fun. Not enjoying online classes and half of my school has been online. So that does suck. I definitely didn't have the college experience that I was hoping for, but everything happens for a reason and I am almost there. I'm so close to the finish line. So hopefully in December, I'm gonna have that degree. What is your channel going to be about? And is this your first channel? So this channel is gonna be about fitness, health, lifestyle, stuff like that. I think I'm gonna focus a lot on like tips and stuff for fitness, like form, or nutrition, macros, just like advice, stuff like that, that um, I want to expand like and go in depth on versus like on my Instagram, I do touch on like form stuff and macros and all that stuff, but it's only like limited to a little caption or like a 15 second reel. So with my YouTube, I'll go a little bit more in depth with like five to six minute videos on that. Is this my first channel? Funny stories, so, so in eighth grade, I was super big into like the beauty influencers. Like all the beauty people on YouTube, I watched all the time. I literally never missed a video. I had, I had Instagram fan pages for them. So I like wanted to be like them. So I did my own stuff and I actually grew a bit of like a decent amount of followers. I think I had 5,000 followers going into like ninth grade or something. And then I quit. Why did I quit? I don't know. I was low key good at it. If you want a good laugh, go look at these videos. Miscellaneous 05. What are your favorite things to do slash your hobbies? I can't really think of like anything. I love working out, obviously. Duh. I enjoy content creation. So like on my Instagram and TikTok. So that's a lot of fun. I like creating stuff like that. Being creative, writing captions, helping others. I don't know. I like self care type stuff. So I like, running a little bubble bath, uh, putting on a face mask. I was really big into playing golf over quarantine or like COVID. And I kind of fell away from that with the colder weather. So I had to get back into that because that was a lot of fun too. I don't like really do much. I hang out with my boyfriend, that's fun. I guess that's a hobby. Is it? Where are you from? So I was born in Newport Beach, California. I moved to Las Vegas when I was four and then stayed there for about eight years and now i am in north carolina what food do you love the most the least and your favorite candy slash dessert so this one's hard because i really love food i'd have to say that steak is my favorite for sure it's just so good it's so good What food do I like the least? Green beans. It's just, oh, and mushrooms. Both of those, the texture of the mushrooms, I cannot get over it. Like, it doesn't taste like anything. It's so gross. I, it has to be like finely chopped and like thrown into a sauce or something for me to actually eat it. And then green beans, just, or string beans or whatever that is. Why does it look like that? Well, it doesn't taste good. It's not appetizing at all. It just, I cannot. Favorite candy slash dessert. I'm a big sweet person. So I like every kind of dessert there is. For like an everyday type dessert, cookies probably, but chocolate chip cookies. Not the oatmeal raisin crap, no, no. Brownies are really good. I just don't think I could eat it every day. It's kind of like a once in a while, like, oh yeah, I need a brownie. Oh, I know. Chocolate cake with some chocolate frosting. That is just like, I don't have it very often. It's like a once a year thing. But when I do, 
I make a night out of it. Performance versus aesthetic, which do you prefer Which do you prefer to work for in the gym? I definitely have to say performance on this one. When I first started, it was all for like aesthetics, as it is for like everyone. Yeah, I grew to really love like lifting heavy and training, and I grew to love the process. I saw how fast my strength grew, and I was like, yeah, this is what I work for. Although, I do love aesthetics, but with training for strength, aesthetics have come for me, so like, it's a win-win. What are your goals? So this is very vague, but let's just say, current goals right now, keep creating valuable content for my followers. Goals in life, man, I got a lot of those, but don't we all? Honestly, I really just wanna create a business for myself that can help as many people as I can. Um, just bring a lot of value in people's life regarding to fitness and health and stuff. That's a main goal of mine. How and why did you start on your health and wellness journey and what motivated you? This picture right here, or wherever I put it on the screen, that, I remember seeing that picture. It was my junior year of high school and I was like, Something needs to change. I was so insecure. I was not happy with the way I looked. I wasn't happy with the way I felt. So I played volleyball and that was me during like, or right before volleyball season. I was not feeding my body properly. I saw that picture and I was like, yeah, I need to, I need to make a change. So I kind of fixed my eating, but not so much because like I was very restrictive. I would kill myself on the treadmill for like an hour and then do another hour of body weight, ab exercises, and like stupid pull, like no offense to people who love Pilates, but stupid little build your, tone your arms with like movements like that. No, that's not how you do it. And I fell for that and it got me nowhere. I was like, ah, this can't be like, how, how are people getting the results they want? Like this is not the way to do it. I felt like crap. I felt worse than I did before I even started on all of it. The fall of my senior year, I joined Burn Boot Camp. Um, I lost a ton of weight and I was actually, I was eating more nutritious foods. I was not eating enough based on my goals. So like I wanted to build muscle. I was in a deficit most of the time. So that's why I lost a lot of weight. I did gain some muscle, but like not as much as I wanted to. So once I went off to school in the spring of 2019, I started weightlifting on my own. Did a bunch of research. I um, experimented with things, different splits, what worked for me. It's been great from then on. So that's kind of what motivated me and encouraged me to get started on my uh, health and wellness journey. And here I am now. I got certified as a personal trainer November of 2019. Wow, it's been a while. I got onboarded to start training February of 2020 at my school. I finally got my first um, client in March of 2020 and then COVID hit. So I wasn't able to start training until like August of 2020. It's great, I love it. It's a really cool job. It's a very rewarding job, so I love it. But how do you stay motivated to work out? This is, I think, geared more towards beginners because once you get into, like you have a consistent routine and you're kind of like into it, and it's more of a lifestyle, it's not that hard to stay motivated. Getting started, it's definitely super hard. It took me a while to get started and to really find that consistent routine. I find it easy to stay motivated when I see my hard work paying off. I see results, I see changes in the mirror, PRs, like hitting a new um, three by five number or something like that or even new one rep max. That kind of stuff keeps me motivated. The work that I put in a week ago is benefiting me this week, so I just keep getting better. I like challenging myself and I like seeing my hard work pay off. So rewarding. So my advice to newbies who don't really have that to go off of, it does take time, it will not happen overnight. Think about what would happen if you do start now. I mean, really there's no bad side to it. I mean, a workout, you feel great after a workout. It's just getting yourself to go into the workout that's kind of hard. Start slow. Don't force yourself to go into five, six times a week if you are doing zero times a week. Start with two to three time full bodies and then go from there. You're gonna still see results. You're just gonna still see results with full body um, twice a week because your body's not used to it. Just do what makes you happy. Don't like go on, be scrolling on Instagram being like, oh, this person does this and she looks like this. So I have to do that, do that to look like that. Find what you enjoy doing. So it might not be weightlifting. Maybe it's like swimming or it's running, whatever you like. Find what makes you happy and then stick with that. Whatever you can be consistent at, do that. All right, so 
that was the end of my get to know me YouTube. But I am super, super, super excited to further my YouTube career and make a bunch of videos that are gonna be helpful to you guys regarding fitness, health, lifestyle, all of the above. If you have any video requests or video ideas, make sure to drop them in the comments because I wanna be as helpful as I can and provide you guys as much information as possible. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more content from me on different platforms, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Trainer Peyton and TikTok at Trainer Peyton. I post my workouts, I post short little form clip videos, I post relatable clips and stuff. I post a good I post some good content. So go give those a follow, support me, follow me along my fitness journey. Let me help you out. Bye guys!